Hey, good morning, guys. Um, it's been a long time since I did any kind of video, like a couple of days. Um, I haven't really done any check-ins on our life. I just posted a game video. I really like that game. <sighs> yeah, um, I was up pretty late, um, talking to my sister, giving her updates about um, I'd say as a, in this situation we're in, we're doing relatively well. We've had a couple of big fights and it's all over. Oh, my baby's waking up. Hold on. Yay, I paused you and now I'm in a different location. He had an accident and wants to take a bath. Um. <sighs> But he was in his own bed. I like how he tells me to send at 2 p.m. alone so he come to my room. <laughs> um, I had a couple of, of really big arguments. Um, he seems to think they are specifically related to me not liking his old lady. And they're not. <laughs> if that's what you want to wear, don't have an accident in it. I'll kick your butt. You got underwear to go with it? I know. That's very good. Very good. Um, it's not necessarily that I don't like her. Shut the bathroom door for me, please. Shut the bathroom door for me, please. Jason, shut the bathroom door for me, please. Shut the bathroom door for me, please. Thank you. Love you. Good morning. I'll put on your morning songs here in just a minute. If you, uh, and I made sure I made it uh, public. Um, if you guys want to go over to my playlist and find um, the good morning song playlist. It, it is something that we listen to every morning. And if we don't, we have a bad day. But it's not necessarily that I don't like her. And I'm sure anyone in my position wouldn't want to hang out with his with their exes, you know, the person that they cheated with and had a baby with. I mean, this is not Reba. <laughs> um, I mean, I'm trying to get to know her. Uh, but, you know, it was funny because we were over there yesterday and he kept calling her away from me. I mean, what, you think in a house full of bombs I'm going to reach over and knock her out? Oh, it wouldn't. He probably wouldn't put it past me. <laughs> um, but it's more over respect. Now, I don't, I don't want her around my kid because I don't trust her. Part of the reason I don't trust her is because she slept with my husband when we were still married. Um, and now I'm going to let you guys know this. I've told my sister, and next time Jason says it, and I'm glad he's in the bath, I'm going to record it. Because the words that come out of my son's mouth, I trust. Now, one of our arguments was on Christmas Eve. I allowed him to take his son, and you just got straight armpit. Sorry. I allowed him to take his son unsupervised to Circus Circus. I realized that he didn't do exactly what he was told, because I do have him gps He knows it. And um, is okay with it, because it benefits him. If, he, if he's accused of doing something stupid he didn't do, I know exactly where he was, and all he has to do is, during that time frame, prove he was on his phone. Which, he's almost never off his phone. Anyways, so... Um, and then he didn't let, he didn't answer his phone. I called seven times, didn't answer his phone, didn't check his phone in the hour that I was calling. So he didn't know I was calling. So he didn't respond to me or text me. And so I walked the eight blocks to Circus Circus and up the freaking parking structure because I didn't know where my car was. And I didn't know how to get, find the elevator because I've never been there as an adult. 
I think we actually only went to the one in Vegas when I was a kid, but we may have gone to this one. I don't know. Uh, anywho, um, I got there. He didn't know where the kid was. Um, me being me, paranoid, that's my baby. He didn't tell me Christina was there. I knew she was, but he didn't tell me. He didn't tell me that Jason was possibly with Christina. So when I alerted the the security guard and I'm like I'm panicking he's and he's not understanding me and and not because I was panicking because he didn't speak didn't understand English very well <laughs> don't, don't want to say speak but he didn't that either but you know I told him he had khaki pants on and he's like what's that <laughs> a white hat with an s on it huh <laughs> Uh, his shirt wouldn't have mattered because he had a freaking sweater on. But anyways, um, during this time, a security walked up, security walked up to her and him, her and the, and Jason, and she says that she's his mom, and he corrects her. So when we find them, they're just playing on a video game. Steve didn't even come looking for me to let me know he found the baby. And then as I approached, I said, get her away from him because this isn't appropriate. And Steve started an argument about how it's my fault that Jason doesn't like Christina and that he told her that. So in a way, it, that is true. It's not because I don't like her. It's because Jason thinks we're going to be a unified family. That's never going to happen. I, at one point in my life, I, early on, before I found out that Christina was pregnant, uh, I thought maybe we could be a unified family. But we're talking Jason was two and three months old. Um, it's not possible now. Not just because of her, but Jason seems to feel that way. Now, I told you the story specifically so that you would know that she told the officer that he that she was his mother and he corrected her. So we were over at their spot yesterday and she took him outside while me and Steve were having a conversation and um, after we left, Jason told me that she kissed him and I'm like, on the cheek or on the mouth on the cheek and I says okay and I said did you like it or did it make you feel uncomfortable he goes mommy it made me feel uncomfortable I said okay so next time you tell her that makes me uncomfortable I don't like it please do not do it you can also tell me or daddy when we got home he proceeded to tell me that she calls him her baby he corrected her and said, I'm not your baby. She told him that he was hers and daddy's baby. And he doesn't like that because he's not her baby. Um, and that he only needs his mommy. Um, in addition, and I stopped to talk to Robin and see it see about um oh i'm not gonna have time because i have my counseling session at 10. um jason's supposed to go to his service today and um daddy wanted to spend the day with him um and jason was given the option you want to go to robbo's or you want to spend the day with daddy and he chose rara um and then we found out her car was has issues and so she can't come get him um but I'm not saying, okay, well, now you can have him, because that, that'll just, but, you know, I just thought it was really nifty. Um, so, I mean, that's the real update. We had that big fight on Christmas Eve. We had a great Christmas day. Um, we went to Rara's, and then he came back over for some reason. And then we had to, then he had to leave to spend some time with, with her. I mean, it, it's, it's been a roller coaster, and it's gonna be. I know it is. Um, just being 
just him being him. And one of my friends goes, you have to realize he's changed. And I'm like, no, that's the problem. He hasn't. <laughs> I was hoping he would have. And that's the only way this is going to work. But he hasn't. So, um, yeah, sorry about the armpit shots. Um, I'll check in in a little while with you guys. Have a good day.